Hi students. All right. This video today is going to go over weapons and guns. Um, this is a part that's actually not in your book, but I think it's really important to understand since it's a huge part of law enforcement. All right, let's start with a video. I'm not going to watch the whole entire video, but um, we will watch some of it and then you're more than welcome to go to YouTube um, to finish watching it. All right, go. All right, so you can go into stupid people and gun fails. Try not to laugh. Um, that actually fell, the casing fell down her shirt. Anyhow, it shows you though, this, even though this is, you're laughing about it, they are very dangerous and can kill you. Okay, so let's get back. It is something um, that you can watch on your own if you choose to. All right. Um, I am by no means a gun expert, but any person who wants to go in the field of um, law enforcement or crime scene investigation or detectives, um, prosecutors, you need to know the basics of handguns and what cops carry are your pretty much basics. All right, so two basics are revolver and semi-automatic. And we're gonna go through each of those. All right, here we have the semi-automatic. Um, going back here, revolvers, back when I actually first got hired, a number of officers still carried revolvers. Um, nowadays, officers carry semi-automatics, and we're going to go in and talk about those a little bit. All right, semi-automatic pistols. These are the basic parts. Um, if you are in law enforcement and crime scene investigator, where you go into forensics, um, in the lab, if you're an officer, you need to know at least these basic parts of that semi-automatic weapon. Um, you have, we'll kind of start here at the grip, that's what you hold with your hands. You have your hammer, this is what goes back and strikes the firing pin um, and strikes the primer on the cartridge, which we'll talk about more. These are the sights, which is how officers aim. This is the barrel right here that the bullet spins out of. Um, and the barrel you'll hear, it's round cylinder object, and because of all the different striations in the barrel, each bullet can be matched with a gun. This is the muzzle where the bullet exits. This is the slide. It moves back and forth to eject um, the cartridge case after the bullet is expended. This is a trigger guard, so if you hold your finger here, you're not getting the trigger. This is the trigger that kills. And this is the magazine that's detachable and comes out and where you load your cartridges in. This is just another look at the interior of that gun. So remember I told you you're talking about the barrel. Um, this is where the bullet comes out of. Uh, this is a spring, just so you know what you're looking at. There's your striker and your hammer and then another spring and a magazine. Here's a look at how the cartridges work. And these are called cartridges. Most people call them bullets. No, this is a bullet. That's a cartridge case. But the whole part of everything is a cartridge. So when you load the magazine up inside the grip, the bullet comes up. And when you slide that frame back, it loads a cartridge in to be fired. And when you pull the trigger, the hammer strikes um, the firing pin and ignites, we're going to talk about this a little bit more, um, the black powder, the cartridge case, this gold thing is expended out and lands on the ground and the bullet goes through the barrel and out the muzzle. All right, now, I do not know all these pieces to the gun. The only time you're going to know this is if you're a range master and you get training. They're generally week to two week long classes for each manufacturer um, of a certain type of gun, such as Glock or Beretta or Smith & Wesson, H&K, things like that. You will learn this. But as a cop, you generally won't. But if you do go into forensics, into firearm examination, you will go into this type of training. But just basic cops do not generally know this. But there are a lot of people out there that get very into guns and understand all of this and how to take it apart. 
but generally you have to be certified to do it. And generally once a year our range master that was certified in Glocks would take Psycheria to Glock 45 when I actually retired and they would come and take my weapon and they would go through all of it. Um, I was not able to do it. I did basic cleaning. All right, let's go over basic parts of a revolver. Kind of think of Old West when you see them. They're great guns to start with. So if you are going into any type of law enforcement where you'll be carrying a weapon, I would recommend you get your CCW. Um, and if you know of a good trainer, and there's some great trainers, start with them. Revolvers at a 22 caliber, which we'll get into, are great guns to start with. There's just another picture of one. Okay, these are kind of different, as you can see. You don't have a magazine, you have a cylinder, and this is where your cartridges containing the bullets go into. And these are speed loaders. Um, and we'll go into this a little bit more. Okay, so here is the part of a revolver. So you again have a grip, no magazine, you notice. You have the cylinder release, which releases the cylinder, and this is where your cartridges go. You have your hammer. So that hits the firing pin on the cartridge and sends the bullet out the barrel, but the cartridge isn't expended as in a semi-automatic. It stays in there and you have to empty it. That's your muzzle, your ejector rod, which actually pushes out once you open up your cylinder release and that cylinder pulls out. The ejector rod can eject all of those empty cartridge cases. And then you have your trigger guard. All right, really quickly, um, just a couple guns we're going to go into that officers are carrying now. We didn't used to carry these, um, but now most and most officers just carried um, Remington shotguns, which we'll talk about, 12 gauges, but now most are carrying both or at least either, either an AR-15. That's an AR-15 rifle. And that is the ammunition. It's a 223, and that has to do with the barrel size that... Um, is utilized by the AR-15. Also officers carry, I carried, I love Remington 870 shotguns, 12 gauge, either slugs or buckshot. They are great for learning. Um, when I was learning to shoot a weapon, it was always great to go and shoot with a shotgun. Very easy, in my opinion, to learn with and to shoot with. Um, great gun. And it's great for crowd control, just when you rack it back Everybody pretty much knows the sound. All right, I am going to stop this video right here, and the next video will continue on with this presentation.